Good day, guitar heads. So a very common question I get is, are guitar kits hard to build? Can beginners finish building a guitar kit? The short answer is yes. So here are some factors you need to consider if it's your first time building a guitar kit. Number one, simple to assemble neck. Correct positioning of the neck within the neck pocket is crucial for intonation. We recommend builders to avoid set-in neck joints and instead go for a bolt-on neck kit. Bolt-on neck kits take the more difficult aspects of the assembly including scale length and neck alignment out of the picture allowing you to focus on simpler tasks. Number 2. Simple to assemble electronics Beginners should avoid kits that involve complicated wiring. Instead, go for a standard pickup configuration with basic tone and volume controls, along with an easy-to-access control cavity. If it's your first time, you should avoid hollow body kits. Number 3. Less contoured body with few hard edges. Prepping a guitar for finishing requires quite a bit of sanding. In most instances, a non-contoured body is easier to prepare and achieve a flat surface, ready for staining or painting. Hard edges could also be problematic when it comes to sanding. Once you have a layer of paint or stain on the guitar, sand throughs can occur quite easily around the edges of the guitar body. Number 4. Select a non-porous bodywood. Your choice of bodywood will have a bearing on the amount of preparatory work needing to be done prior to painting or staining. In general, more porous timbers like mahogany and ash require grain filling to ensure a flat surface, suitable for applying finishing coats. If this is your first guitar, select a close grain timber that won't require grain filling such as alder. Alder is also a semi-hard wood, meaning you will find drilling into the body a little easier than typical woods. Number 5. Hardware included. Sourcing your own aftermarket hardware can be appealing, but it's best avoided if this is your first build. The hardware that comes with your kit is guaranteed to fit perfectly with minimal effort. The least thing you want to happen is have parts that won't fit the kit that you have. Number 6. Body Veneer The highly decorative maple veneers we offer, like flamed maple, quilted, or spalted, look great on a finished guitar. But they can be problematic if you have limited experience with sanding and staining. Due to the nature of veneers, it's not terribly difficult to sand through or saturate the veneer, causing air pockets under the surface that are difficult to repair. Number 7. Body Binding Aside from looking great, Binding protects the hard edges and prevents moisture from entering the end grains of your timber, causing swelling. However, binding also introduces the need for masking if painting or staining, which tends to make finishing a more complicated and tedious process. Number 8. Bridge and Tailpiece Holes Along with correctly positioning the neck, the bridge assembly is also important with regard to scale length and intonation. First-time builders should avoid drilling their own bridge and tailpiece holes as the correct placement requires an understanding of scale length and compensation for accurate intonation. Number 9. Pickup and Electronics Routing Routing a guitar body requires specialist tools and experience. We recommend having the routing done by us at the factory so you can focus on the rest of the assembly. Number 10. Headstock shape. If you're a first-time builder, we recommend ordering a styled headstock, and that requires less work and a more enjoyable DIY journey. That's all for now. I hope you find this video helpful. Till next time, rock on! Yeah.